What's up everyone, ODC, it's me here, and today we are going to shoot a review of da -da -da -da, Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale Commander Bly, leader of the 327th Star Corps. Um, this is Commander Bly. He looks uh, just really beautiful. I picked this up at Star Wars Celebration. And let me just adjust my crappy lighting here. Um, but uh, here he is in uh, all of his glory. Uh, he looks beautiful. This is an older figure. Uh, this is part of the Sideshow Collectibles Militaries, Militaries of Star Wars back in 2011. So about a six-year-old figure here. But absolutely beautiful. I really love this head sculpt. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I think they did a really good job. And for a six-year-old figure, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I have seen some Sideshow Collectibles um, head sculpts that are kind of lackluster. Um, but I feel like, for the most part, and this is what I feel for... Um, but I feel like, for the most part, um, the majority of the head sculpts are pretty well done. You, you know, I mean, this isn't a, a Hot Toys figure. This is Sideshow Collectibles product, so a um, little bit different uh, as far as the quality goes for the head sculpts, but I'm still pretty happy with the way that this turned out, and um, I'm really happy to finally, you know, add this figure to uh, my very <laughs> small collection of uh, one six scale figures. Uh, I am a big fan of the Clone Wars and the uh, all the Clone Troopers, and um, you know I, I I hope that one day we get maybe a um, I, I, aside from the TV show the Clone Wars um, maybe some sort of uh, clone movie I, 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 or like maybe like a maybe like a, a Netflix series for the clones. Um, I think that. Um, enough people enjoyed the clones in general um, to warrant a TV show or like uh, maybe not so much a movie um, but I think a TV show would be fantastic I'm just gonna pan out a little bit here um, and uh, give you guys a little bit of a better look here at uh, Commander Bly hopefully my camera stays uh, <laughs> not so much used to doing 12 inch re uh, reviews as you can see um, he does come with his DC-15 uh, rifle or DC-15A excuse me and I, I like to have him pose kind of relaxed with his helmet on to his side um, this way you can get um, the um, the face sculpt you know what I mean as I pull him back in here as you can see he's kind of got uh, almost looks like two bandages on each cheek and that that kind of separated him from you know the rest of his clone brothers um, because each clone kind of had their own look their own personality um, it wasn't all about them just looking the same and being the same you know what I mean like they all strive to be a little bit different a little bit more unique from one another and um, you know and that's just human nature you know we all want to be our own unique selves and um, so uh, that's what I really liked about um, uh, just a just a uh, point of, of what I liked about the clones just one point um, he does come with uh, his phase 2 helmet with a pull down visor which is a um, articulated you can pull it up or down it goes up about this far. I really wouldn't push it past the point of it feeling um, a little bit stressed because, I mean, you really don't want this these plastic tabs to snap on the side. Um, and you just don't want to put stress on it overall, but it looks really good. There's a nice weathering effect going throughout the, uh, the helmet here on the top. Some scratches and scraping and see some paint chipping right there and it's not actually quality control issue for the figure that's how it's supposed to look got some more paint fading and chipping here on the back that's a nice weathering effect really good job they did on this uh, helmet as I speak like Yoda backwards really good job they did 
but <laughs> there's the phase two helmet. Um, he also does come with a plethora of other accessories besides those. Um, he comes, oops, I'm dropping his rifle all over the place, sorry. He also does come with his blaster pistols, which we're used to seeing with Captain Rex and uh, a few others, like uh, Commander Neo, I believe, comes with them. Uh, Commander Wolf, which I recently picked up. Um, him being my favorite clone. What? Uh, let me know in the comments below what, who your favorite clone is. Um, for me, it's kind of a tie between Captain Rex and uh, Commander Wolf. Those are probably my my two favorite. Um, but uh, looks really cool. Love this look. Um, and this is definitely his uh, Phase 2 armor. And there actually is a difference between the armors. I believe Phase 2 armor had a, was a little bit lighter. Um, not, as, not as heavy as far as... And when I say heavy, I mean uh, as far as um, taking blasters. Um, I believe the Phase 1 was actually a heavier armor, but also more uncomfortable, where the Phase 2 is a little bit of a lighter armor, um, didn't give as much protection, but um, it was easier for the clones to move around in. So it, you got you to gotta give and take, you know what I mean? That's kind of how, how life is, you know what I mean? You give and take. Uh, <laughs> but let me just set him aside real quick and we'll get to the rest of him in a second. I just want to show you guys the packaging really quick. Sorry if I have any light glare. There's not really much I can do about it as far as that goes. There's a picture of Commander Bly in the front. We've got his Phase 1 helmet right there, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then we got him in just kind of a standing pose holding his helmet. And then on the side here, got him dual wielding his uh, blaster pistols. And you got his nice comma skirt right here. Looks really cool. Here he is on the back. And um, it shows you a nice uh, plethora of pictures from Revenge of the Sith, um, where he was briefly in. And here's the uh, the rest of them as he is assassinating uh, Jedi there. Looks pretty cool. really like the Phase 2 armor here. Uh, or the Phase 2 helmet, I should say, with the armor. Looks great. And then on this side, he's just kind of got him in another pose with the Phase 1 helmet on. And he's got a pistol and his DC-15, so that looks pretty cool. All right, getting rid of the packaging. Um, he, like I said, he does come with a ton of accessories, and I'm going to take them all out and show you guys right now. Okay, and we're back with all of his accessories, as you can see right here. He comes with a ton of different options for you. Um, as I've already shown you, um, the unmasked head, which I'll give you guys another close-up of. And there's a close-up of the Commander Bly head. There's the back of the head. Good in rotation right there. There we go. Looks really good. And then we have the Phase 1 head. Some nice weathering on top. Very similar to the Phase 2 helmet that I showed. And the visor is adjustable too, so you can bring it down over the eyes. And I would suggest being a little bit careful here. Just a little bit. Um, this this uh, style helmet, um, the Phase 1, um, the visor only wants to go up a little bit, so just be careful there not to force it. So there's the Phase 1 helmet. Show you the Phase 2 helmet again, why not? Looks really good. What do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below what you prefer. Do you prefer the uh, Phase 1 helmet or the Phase 2 helmets? For me, I, I, you know what? I really like both, to be honest with you. Kind of tough to pick one, but I definitely like the clone helmets better than I like the Stormtrooper helmets, to be honest with you. Just a, just a little bit more. Okay, and here we have his DC-15 blaster rifle, and it does have an adjustable stock here which I'll show you guys. Boom, and then you have his little um, pad right there. Um, I don't think I've ever seen these rifles used in this in this uh, this manner. <laughs> I always, uh, pretty much I've always seen their blaster rifles being used um, this way. So, 
Uh, something to note on here, um, do be careful that uh, the stock, uh, you don't, I, I don't know, I guess maybe overuse this too much because the stock wants to f droop a little bit. Um, it, it has become just a, a slight, uh, a, the slightest bit uh, loose. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that, having that pop down on me, but uh, for the most part, it, it doesn't bother me with Bly because I'm going to have him with his DC-15A blaster rifle. So that kind of fixes things as far as that goes, but um, it just is something to note there. Um, another thing to note on here, uh, I do really like the paint shading, uh, a little bit of paint going throughout the blaster rifle. There is a hint of weathering going throughout here on top. Um, just something to note. See, as you can see, it's drooping a little bit. Um, now, I did buy this from a vendor, and um, when I opened it up, I actually, when I thought, when I had bought it originally, I thought that this was brand new, but it was not. This is used, but it's in really good shape. I don't have any loose joints on the body at all. Um, it's just this one piece. Um, and that's actually a common thing with most, uh, most of these clone guys. Um, but here's the DC-15A. Really good job with the paint on this. Nice, crisp, and clean. It's not just a flat black either. It's kind of like a, almost like a, uh, a metallic, um, or maybe a, maybe a little bit of a pearlescent finish on here as far as the black goes. It's not just a plain, boring black plastic. So that is something to note as well. I like where the uh, the grays are painted. Even the little rivets are painted gray, or silver. Excuse me, I should say silver, not gray. Um, everything's pretty well done with that. Um, next, since I, I did the head, let's do the uh, feet. Now you're probably wondering, why the hell are these feet bent like this? What the heck is the point of this? But there is a point, and um, it is actually to get him in a nice kneeling pose. Um, I actually prefer this. Um, maybe I'm in the minority here, but I prefer this over articulation in the toe. Um, I don't, I've never really liked articulated toes. Um, I'm just not a fan of that. I would prefer to have an extra set of feet um, like this. Um, this way the toe joint never gets loose on you and you don't have to have your figure continuously flopping forward on you because the balance is thrown off because of the loose toe joint. Um, older Marvel Legends had that. Uh, some Mafex figures have it. Uh, I'm not sure if all of them have it. I haven't done my research like that, but uh, the foot does look good. I'm glad that we have a pre-posed foot, and I don't think that they actually give us these feet anymore, to be honest with you. It's either like a fixed straight foot that you have to kind of deal with, or um, that's about it. So Those are the feet. Looks pretty cool. I like the weathering effect that they did on the foot as well. I think that looks really good. Very well done there with that foot. Okay, that's the feet. Okay, next up we're going to do his uh, blaster pistols, and I'll just give you guys another quick look at that. There's a little bit of a weathering on here as far as the stock goes. Um, right here. Or I should say the handle. Um... One side, I would say, is maybe a little bit more weathered than the other. Um, this side is a little bit more weathered than that side. But there is weathering on both sides. It's just this is more predominant on that side. Um, and they're obviously both the same, but I'll give you guys a quick look. Okay. Next, we're going to get into the hands. Um, but there's the other fist hip, two fist hands right there. Got the gripping or the gripping hand right there. We've got two thumbs up hands right here. Got the pointer finger right here. Got the open gripping hand right here. Got the two finger pointer. Go over there. You go over there. And we have the the uh, what I like to call the three stooges finger. You know, go right through the eyes and then you block it. Sorry, okay, I'll shut up. And then we have two flat hands. And then we have, I think I said the gripping hand, the uh, trigger finger hand, the two fist hands. And there's two trigger finger hands. I have one on the body already. Um, but those are all of his accessories and moving on. 
Okay, and last accessory actually I wanted to note before I get back to the figure is he does come with this um, Star Wars base. It's kind of basic. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, as far as uh, modern day uh, bases go, as far as Sideshow Collectibles, they, we don't even get anything that says Star Wars on it. Unfortunately, it's pretty much just a black plastic uh, base. Um, but at least we got something that says Star Wars on here. It would have been cool if it said Star Wars, Clone Wars on here. Or Attack of the Clones, or uh, Revenge of the Sith, or something like that but it says 2009 here but the figure this figure was released in 2011 so this is a reused base obviously um, and you can adjust the crotch holder um, up and down if you want to so there's that up and down there you go um, but I usually leave it right around here this is pretty much how Tolly stands and that's pretty much it so there's a base Okay, and as far as the uh, figure's articulation does go, it does have a really good uh, articulation. and um, The head can swivel. Uh, can't really do a full 360 rotation here with this head, but he can do that with um, the other head, which I'll just pop on right here. I can get it to pop. Oh, it's on. Okay. So you don't have to hear a pop with that head. But he can do a full 360 rotation with that head, and he does get actually a way better range of motion without the helmet on, due to him having so much more room, obviously. You can look up, you can look way up. Look at that, that's great. He can tilt side to side. I already showed you the swivel. He can look down a little bit. Um, not the best looking down, but I think it's good enough. Now popping the head off. Putting the phase two back on. Uh, the phase two can pretty much just swivel, uh, can look up a little bit, and can look down around the same range of motion as this unmasked head. Now, with the phase one helmet, let's just check and see which has the best range of motion as far as heads go. Um, he can look down, he can look up, and he can do a full 360 rotation. So he has better range of motion than the Phase 2 due to the sculpt, different sculpt here, as you can see. Um, let's just pop this head back off. And we'll just for looks, let's put the Phase 2 back on. The arms go up about that far, which uh, isn't necessarily the best range of motion here. Um, I've seen better, but um, it is due. To, a lot of it is due to his armor, so it's kind of acceptable. You kind of have to accept that with him. I still think he's got really good range of motion. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. He also does have a butterfly butterfly joint right there, a double jointed elbow, which is really good. Good range of motion there. He does have a swivel right here, or it might be actually. No swivel there. I don't think there is a swivel there, but you can swivel the armor and move the armor around. So it kind of gives off the illusion that he has extra swivels and stuff like that. But it's just pretty much the armor moving. He does have a swivel at the wrist and a hinge joint um, at the wrist as well. It goes up and down, or you can also swivel it to get it to go left or right. He does have a slight swivel in the diaphragm joint, and he can crunch forward, and he can crunch back a little bit kind of have to work with the armor to get it to move but it does move and it can tilt side to side as well um, his legs can go forward make sure I'm getting in camera I might just have to move his base down go forward and does have a thigh swivel and not, I'm not just using the armor there actually is a thigh swivel there his legs go back and he can do the splits going out I would be a little bit careful here because you are stretching this under armor or this under whatever you call it um <laughs> futuristic under armor there we go just to note it does stress the um underneath suit but double jointed knees um does he have a swivel over here no that's just the thigh swivel from up there he does have an ankle hinge which goes forward and back and he can swivel it and I don't think he has ankle pivot. He may. No, he does not. Okay, so it just swivels. So there you go. If he does have ankle pivot, I'm sorry if I missed it, but it doesn't seem like he had it, and I didn't want to force it because I don't want to snap a heel or snap a foot off. 
something stupid happening. Um, just, just with my luck, you know? So final thoughts are, um, I, I really like this figure. I, I'm very happy and fortunate to have found this figure. Um, these uh, older clone commanders or clone figures in general are becoming more and more rare, especially um, the limited uh, figures. I think, um, what was it, Captain Rex is very limited. Uh, phase two Captain Rex, even phase one Captain Rex is hard to find for a decent price. Um, uh, Commander Cody was only limited to a thousand pieces, so um, these are becoming tougher and tougher to find, and I got a really good price at Celebration. Um, even though this is a used figure, it was in really good condition. I don't have any issues with any, you know, chipping or anything breaking or falling off or silliness happening. So usually the quality of figure that you get, even if these are used and you pick one up used, you can have a little bit more faith in these figures, I feel like, over a six inch figure um, that's got loose joints and wiggling and wobbling all over the place um, because of the higher quality of the figure and the underneath body in general. Um, I believe this is on the Prometheus body, if I'm not mistaken, but um, everything on him looks really good. And um, um, something else to note before I let you guys go, um, the armor, um, you kind of have to fuss with it a little bit, um, because it does want to move on its own and getting these thigh pieces up, I've noticed are really kind of a hassle to keep them up and make the armor look like it's supposed to. Um, I have had to fidget with it a little bit, especially these thigh pieces right down here. Um, as far as uh, them moving on their own, that, that's pretty much what they're going to do. I mean, gravity is going to force them down and, you know, want them to look a little silly, but just play with it a little bit. It's not too bad. The um, From head to toe, I mean, I'm just really happy with this figure and the way it turned out from the the mixture of soft goods, which I always love with the comma skirt right here, um, with the, uh, the nice pauldron right here, which is beautifully done as far as weathering effect goes. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, uh, Bly looks really good. And I think that if you get, if you are remotely, um, have the budget for these guys, um, or if you just want to pick up one, um, I would recommend any of them. To be honest with you, whether it's um, Rex, Cody, Gree, Bly right here, or, or you know, um, Neo, any of them. I'm just naming a few. Um, any of them you'll be happy with. Any of the commanders or Captain Rex or any of them. So, uh, I just love the weathering on him. It's so well done. It really looks like he's been through uh, just tons and tons of battles and, um, you know... <laughs> It just like he's seen a lot of combat, which I just absolutely love. And this would make for such good picture taking if you have, um, you know, a couple of these guys kind of in a little troop or something, you know. So I, I just I really can't recommend these enough. And like I said, I, I know these aren't for everyone. Um, I know these do run expensive. Um, I think secondary markets, I, they run anywhere from 175 uh, to three hundred dollars or more i've seen captain rex phase two captain rex go for like 400 bucks which is whoo whoo that's a lot of money holy toledo that's a lot of money i mean i i gotta give it two thumbs up as far as quality goes as far as accessories go and uh presentation you know what i mean that does count for something um so that's pretty much it for me let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you for watching as always and i'll see you guys on the flip side